On the 12th of May, Savolmash took part in an all-Russian meeting on development of electric transport and associated infrastructure. The event took place in Moscow in the Russian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The event was attended by representatives of state authorities, business, developers of electric vehicles and charging stations, scientific and educational organizations, and certification bodies. Alexander Sudarev made a presentation on behalf of Savolmash. He spoke about the objectives of Savolmash, construction of the Design and Technological Bureau, and what services the enterprise will provide in the future. The attendees learned about the advantages of the technology with combined windings and examples of their use, including electrical transport. Alexander Sudarev spoke about why mass implementation of Slavyanka motors will be beneficial for the economy of Russia and for business. The readiness of the enterprise for import replacement was highlighted, as well as its readiness to create innovative centers in Russia to produce energy-efficient motors. The Design and Technological Bureau Savalmash will not only develop motors, but will also launch them into production on the client's capacities. Such enterprises will be as independent as possible from purchasing foreign parts and technological equipment, because Savalmash develops these components as well. Savalmash participation in the all-Russian meeting on development of electric transport shows how relevant the company's activities are in the current context. Russia's orientation towards import-replacing products opens a window of opportunities for the Design and Technological Bureau, which will help the enterprise to have a stable position on the domestic and foreign markets. Colleagues, now it is my pleasure to give the floor for his report promising solutions for energy-efficient drives for electric transport based on asynchronous motors with combined winding Slavyanka to Alexander Sudarev. Colleagues, I am happy to welcome you here. Thank you for this opportunity to present you this report. We were asked to speak about the problem first before presenting. So I would like to say that specialists of Savalbash deal with the problems in terms of creating innovative enterprises and creating energy efficient solutions and products which will be available for production on the territory of the Russian Federation. And, which is also very important, these enterprises and solutions should be created so as to secure ourselves in terms of depending on sanctioned products. It is true about components and means of production. I will speak about that in more detail in my presentation. The company Savalmash is an engineering company. Its goal is obtaining profits via commercialization of a unique and patented technology of combined winding Slavyanka. And commercialization is achieved via development and putting into production motors with improved properties. Capacities of the company allow to create unique products in the energy sector, which are compliant with the needs of the market and business. The company is now constructing a design and technological bureau. It will be located on the territory of the Special Economic Zone Zelenograd. It is the former Technopolis Moscow. Now it is called the Special Economic Zone Zelenograd. Area of the building is 17,000 square meters. And this building will allow to develop, design, produce asynchronous motors of a general industrial purpose, inbuilt ones of special purpose, traction motors, drive systems, traction drive systems that will include both the motor and the controller, the control unit, motors and control units of our proper development. The enterprise will also develop means of production, equipment for producing motors, and automated production lines will be created of a new generation that will allow to end users to produce motors themselves. I will speak about that in more detail a little bit later. On this slide, you see the status of construction work as of today. This photo was taken just the other day. The building has been constructed for a year. Since 2019, the company has been a resident of the Special Economic Zone. Construction started in 2020, and in a year of active construction work, we managed to achieve 
this stage. This is work with communication, utility lines and all the rest. The enterprise has been highly evaluated in terms of its efficiency and viability by the management of the Special Economic Zone because there is all the necessary engineering equipment. It has been delivered and so it has been purchased for the construction site. As of today, before finishing construction and commissioning it, by the way, I forgot to mention that commissioning of the building is planned in the second quarter of 2023. And after all state commissions are passed, it will actually be commissioned. Before that, activities are performed on rented territories in Zelenograd. As of today, these capacities are a miniature of the Future Design and Technological Bureau, and it includes the design department, the casting floor, the winding floor, high-precision testing laboratory, mechanical processing floor, and many others, including the area where there is automated production line, which allows to produce general industrial asynchronous or induction motors, sizes from 86 to 132 from 12 to 17,000 units per month. On this slide, you can see what production capacities look like, which are located on rented territories. Now, as for commercialization, the technology is going to be commercialized in terms of development and putting into production motors. It is an integral product which includes different tasks, which are calculations and modeling, elaboration of design, technological and operations, documentation, preparation of the necessary fittings for specific sizes of the motor, creating of a prototype of the motor, testing and so on. So the company is not going to earn money on developing concrete motors, but it is rather developing motors for clients' needs. Any person present here can address the company with its own tasks and all these tasks will be solved and needs satisfied. As I have already said, Commercialization is important, and all this information is included on this slide. In case a motor development is ordered, then a plant may be built to client's order, which is done in compliance with the elaborated documentation. The necessary amount of batches will be produced and so on. Technological equipment will be elaborated and will be delivered for producing equipment, production lines will be mounted, personnel will be trained and conditions are being created for that now. It means that clients will receive a turnkey solution in terms of producing motors. Now let's speak about the technology. The main principle here is parallel alignment of two types of windings, a star and a triangle, which allows to get properties of a motor which are much better than properties of a standard motor. Combining windings is not a novelty created by Savalmash. This principle was tested before. However, significant results could be obtained and the overall principles of utilization of such motors could only be achieved by specialists of Savalmash company. Now, advantages. Using combined windings allows to achieve the following. Possibility of producing induction traction motors. Combined windings allow to do it in a much more effective way than a classical version. An induction motor operates at higher frequencies of supply voltage using electrotechnical steels to operate with the frequency of 50 Hz. An example of it is one of the motors which was developed by Sovolmash some time ago, 2.6 kW. It is used in manual tools 
in home appliances and it can be used for light electric vehicles. Plates where a pack of stator and rotor are mounted are designed to work at 50 Hz. Specialists, after having carried out all the necessary tests in Savomash laboratory, registered operating at 600 Hz. The technology is protected by patents of the Russian Federation. As of today, there are more than 20 patents, and work in this area continues. As of today, applications have been filed to receive new patents. In 2018, a reference book was published, a manual for using combined wireless technology, and the reference book presents about 50 schemes, thanks to which any layman or specialist could learn about the technology and test it personally. As of today, the technology is successfully used, and it has been the case since 1995. In Russia and in other countries, more than 100,000 licensed motor winders work. Who are they? They are professional winders who service induction motors which are already there. They have been trained. The company has about a hundred licensed winders, and they have modernized classical motors. They have replaced them with combined windings. And these motors have been operating ever since. They show very effective results, and they satisfy the needs of those who use them. Now I suggest that we will look at examples of implementing the technology in transport. For example, this technology was implemented in Renault Twizy car. The distance of the trip increased by more than 20%. The scooter Airbus got new properties. Its maximum speed grew up to 70 km per hour. And the starting power of the motor managed to tug the Neva car, which weighed about 1.5 tons. Some solutions were designed to use it in urban electric transport and in private transport. On your screens you see a mine electric locomotive, which was also modernized with combined windings. After modernization it could pull 11 wagoners with coal, while a standard motor could only pull 5. And when transporting coal, the motor did not get overheated, despite two-fold increase of load. In 2020, an induction traction motor of DAT100L6 series was developed, designed for work under control of a variable speed drive, as part of the electric drive of a load transporter or another electric vehicle. You can see its main characteristics on the screen. In 2015, for the first time in the world, a motor wheel based on an induction motor was designed and presented, which has advantages over its competitors. I mean, motors with permanent magnets. The advantages include availability of raw materials from Russian suppliers, independence from foreign suppliers in terms of permanent magnets, and its characteristics. It is reliable, it is not afraid of moisture or ferromagnetic dust, and so on. As of today, this technology is actively promoted on the territory of China. It received grants, and our partner Viktor Aristov and his ASPP Way High Technology Company launched a small series production of a number of motors. The list is presented on the slide. The motors are supplied to customers as part of kits, which are made of a motor and a controller. ASPP Way High Technology launched a serious production of Liberty motorbikes with the motor DA95S. The company designs and produces the main components of an electric motor. In 2021, 
the own construct of an incremental encoder was developed, taking into account the identified drawbacks of alternatives presented on the market. A unit for producing the main components of encoders was also designed and commissioned, so Valmash can produce up to 40,000 such units per month. Controllers for controlling traction drives were also designed. It is very important to highlight ecology effect. Mass implementation of Slavyanka motors will significantly reduce consumption of energy and can significantly reduce the necessity of mineral resources extraction. To produce combined winding motors, when there is recycling of the existing motors, you can take three standard motors and make four Slavyanka motors out of them. In the future, this number could grow to seven or eight. Another important thing, if we speak about general industry motors, ecological standards like IE1, 2, 3 and 4 have been implemented, so energy efficient motors are usually of a bigger size than their less energy efficient counterparts. However, Savalmash can produce motors with higher energy efficiency of a smaller size. Prototypes of such motors have already been developed and produced. It is worth noting advantages for business if they use this technology. First of all, operational characteristics of these motors in final products. Why can they be achieved? Because the size of energy efficient motors gets reduced and there are no complex cooling systems, for example. Also, we see cost reduction in terms of producing such motors, because there is no need to produce new production lines. You can just adapt what you already have as of today. I mean, producing motors. Those who use these motors as final products do not have the need to redesign final products. We know that in Europe, in China, in the Russian Federation as well, restrictions have already been implemented in terms of ecological standards. In other places, they are going to be introduced very soon, and producers will not be able to market their products if a certain energy class is not achieved. In this case, the size of the motor remains unchanged and energy efficiency class improves. So, it means no additional costs in terms of developing a new product. They are the main advantages. And to sum up, I would like to say the following. Savalmash creates production which will not depend on foreign supplies, on foreign technological equipment, components and so on. The company is capable of solving the task in terms of import replacement, marketing domestic products, outperforming its competitors' characteristics. Thank you.